Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm actually just having leftovers from last night's dinner. Um, we have scalloped shrimp. I do have some cucumbers just to, you know, snack on them a little bit too. Um, we also tried, uh, some, you know, that's what I forgot. I'm just going to have to use my hands, I guess, with that. I forgot a fork. Um, this is swordfish. So, yeah, we got to try that last night, and it's actually really good. Um, I do have salt, because I like salt and lemon on my fish. Um, water to drink. I hope you guys can see this okay. I just have some, uh, butter. It does have some seasonings and some garlic in it. It's not like my other sauce that I usually eat. But that is okay. I just haven't had the time. So, today is Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are all having a good Christmas, uh, break so far. And I hope you guys are all excited for Christmas and are ready. Um, if I always forget, but I always forget to do like a thumbnail. So it always ends up looking kind of funny. But yeah, let's just get started. Sorry, it's been a minute since I've posted. That's another thing I forgot. Forgot a place to discard anything but yeah it's been pretty busy this week for us anyways come on but yeah I just I reheated all of this up like back up because I don't want to waste seafood on my back and it's driving me nuts the only thing that sucks about reheating like shrimp and stuff is they definitely don't turn out the same as what they were some of the garlic on there And then I really need to itch it. Okay, sorry. I don't know if you guys have ever swordfish but it's actually pretty good it's not like I still like fishy flavors and this one's not quite as fishy but yeah scallop Should put some of the two times in here. Hmm. So we did have lobster tails, but they were just so good that I like devoured them. I 
like my husband who makes the best lobster tails. If I keep looking over here, I'm sorry, I'm used to my camera being flipped that way. peanuts when I get so stuck in my braces. Yeah, so we were going to have the colossal king crab, but as soon as our store got them back in, they were like sold out super quick apparently. So we weren't able to do that. So good. I honestly probably should have done a video last night when we were having the lobster and stuff, but I'm already getting full. Those cucumbers are really good. Starting to wish I had some rice and sausage with this. <laughs> Except that I'm getting full. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I don't know about everybody else, but we've already uh, watched all the Christmas shows. <laughs> we've been trying to figure out which ones that we've missed and we were like naming all of them and we're just like, oh no, I'm pretty sure we watched them all already. So what are we going to watch? And I'm like, well, I guess once we watch them all. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but one of my favorite things to do with lemons. Put some salt on them. So good. Mm -hmm. I do have a story, but I'm kind of nervous to tell it because it's embarrassing. And I really shouldn't be embarrassed about it anymore because it was seriously like six years ago that it happened. <laughs> but even like talking about it, I get so embarrassed about it. Okay, but my question is... <clears throat> Have any of you guys ever gotten into the wrong car? Like thinking that it was your car, got into someone else's car, and realized that it wasn't your car? So, I don't completely remember why I was upset, but at the time I was um, living with some people. They were friends at the time. And um, I was upset with them about something. So I messaged one of my friends to come pick me up that I needed to get away. <clears throat> and um, so he was on his way and my roommates at the time were asking me where I was going and stuff because they were upset too. Like I said, I don't remember why. And, um, we ended up getting into a fight because I just said that I would be back later and we all got into a huge fight and I ended up crying. I ran out of the house because my friend said that he was there. And they like ran after me and I saw a red car that wasn't parked yet. They were just sitting in the middle waiting. I went and I got in and the guy who I thought was my friend was like, are you okay? And I was just like, no, just start driving. And he's like... Um, and I look over and I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I'm in the wrong car. And then I looked off to the side because there was somebody next to the window and it ended up being his girlfriend. I got out and I was like, I'm so sorry. I got into the wrong car. 
I found my friend's car. I went and got in and he was just laughing his butt off. And I was just like, no, it's not funny. I'm so embarrassed. I mean, I definitely had some choice words at the time. But I don't want to swear too much on here. If I ever do swear, I'm sorry to the kids. Or to anybody watching that does not like swearing. Sometimes it just pops out, but I do my best to make it so that it doesn't. Also, if my husband ever does come on, there's probably no stopping him from swearing. So, yeah. Anyways, that was super embarrassing for me. And I was made fun of for a long time after that by my roommates, by my friend. By my friend. And, yeah. I am still so embarrassed about it. I don't even think I really said anything else to that guy besides I'm so sorry. And to the girl as well. But yeah. Don't go running to a car that, while you're upset, thinking it's the right car and it's not. Oh, goodness. I'm sure that they've told that story to people before, too. About the random chick who got into their car and they don't know why. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know how loud that was, but sorry. I, I did have another story. And also, that... That other story that I was talking about, um, I really want my husband to be on here with me when we tell this story. And actually the friend who was involved as well, he kind of wants to be involved with the story too. Because let's just say a lot of the trip that we, like the took, the trip that we took... Most of it we were all pretty drunk and so I'll remember things that maybe they don't remember and then they'll remember things that maybe I don't remember about it. And it's going to be a long story but it is so funny. I promise it is worth the wait to actually hear it. Anyways, yeah. So I guess I'm going to go get this all cleaned up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the story time even though it was short and it kind of sounds stupid when I'm talking about it but yeah anyways I'll see you guys next time see ya